This set of three videos demonstrate how to do the Chapter 6 database assignment from Valus, Sitch, and Schneider, except instead of using Microsoft Access, we will use WordPress, MySQL, and phpMyAdmin. To do this assignment, you will need your own WordPress site on your own cPanel host. Part 1 covers converting spreadsheets of an Excel spreadsheet into files for import. Part 2 covers importing these files into a database using phpMyAdmin. Part 3 covers how to create reports in WordPress using ELI's custom SQL report plugin. We start with Part 1. The assignment is on page 275 of the textbook. The setting is a travel agency and you have a database with four tables. The assignment is to write queries for generating reports about agents in each office, agents by destinations booked, and destinations sold by the agents. For our assignment, instead of starting with a database file, I have provided you with an Excel spreadsheet containing the four tables as worksheets. The worksheets contain information about offices, sales agents, destinations, and sales. In this first video, we show how to convert the Excel spreadsheet into files suitable for importing as tables into a database. First, a bit about terminology. We will interchange the words worksheet and table. We will interchange the words column and field. Note we should not have any spaces in the names of our tables or columns when we are defining our database. We will use an underscore instead of a space sometimes. Also, when we name a table or a column, it is case sensitive, so we need to write it exactly how we named it. Sometimes we will use the same name for a column or a table, and that's okay. So first, download and save the spreadsheet from La Lima. Open the spreadsheet and you see there are four worksheets. The table named Destination contains the name of the destinations and a unique integer destination ID named dest underscore ID. This integer uniquely identifies this row and this destination, and we call this the primary key for this table. This will also be a foreign key referenced by other tables. Save this worksheet as a .csv file. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. The office table contains all the offices of the travel agency. There are eight offices, including Seattle and Denver, and each also has a unique integer office ID that will be the primary key for the table. Save the office worksheet as a .csv file. The sales agent table references the office table as we see here. Each sales agent works at only one office. The numbers here are the primary key values for the offices. Six corresponds to Seattle and seven corresponds to Denver and so on. Each sales agent has a unique identifying integer in this column which is the primary key for this table. Save the sales agent worksheet also as a comma separated file using the same name, sales underscore agent dot CSV.
The most important table which changes all the time is the sales table. This is a transactions table where each record represents a booked sale. Each record has a date, a sales agent who made the sale, an amount, and a destination. Notice that the sales agent and the destination are actually key values into the sales agent and destination tables. The foreign key values are integers same as the primary keys, but the date is an SQL date type and the amount is a dollar amount. The name fields in the other tables were character type fields. We will confirm or adjust the setting of these fields once the tables have been uploaded into the database. The date field is different. The date field will also be uploaded as a character field and converted to a date field once it's uploaded, but before upload, we must convert it to a year, month, day format, with the year as four digits, the month as two digits, and the day as two digits. This is the date format in SQL. To do this, select the column by clicking the B at the top. Under Format, select Cells. For things to format, select Numbers. Under Numbers, you may have a date category, and you can try to look see if there is already a year, month, day format. We have it here, but not all spreadsheet programs do. So if we don't, select User Defined, or in Excel it's called Custom. For the format code, type capital YYYY dash MM dash DD and click OK. And you will notice that the date column is now how we want it. Finally, save the sales worksheet as a .csv file. This completes part one of this set of videos. Part two covers importing these four .csv files into a database using phpMyAdmin. Part three covers how to create reports in WordPress using ELI's custom SQL report plugin.